many people in the room are treating dry eye right now? Good, so we got some newbies too. So my name is Patty Barkey. Um, I work with Bowden Eye and Associates in Jacksonville, Florida, as well as a organization called Dry Eye University. And there are people who develop passions about certain disease processes, develop passions because there's a huge need for things to be um, taken care of and settled and solved. And dry eye happens to be that disease that is kind of like in the corner where there's so many eye care practices that don't do anything for dry eye. And as a matter of fact, there are practices that do things that make dry eye worse for their patients. So it's kind of an avoidance thing and you know, it's sad. So when we meet people who have this passion for taking care of a thing like this, like dry eye disease, you get programs like this. So Dr. Masadi, stand up beautiful. <laughs> so she has the passion. She developed the passion. She caught the disease. Um, all of these people, Dr. Perriman, Dr. Bowden, Dr. Darbandi, we're all part of this process, and many of the vendors even in the room. There's so much to be done in the dry eye disease component. This is the tip of the iceberg, and I always say that the practices that are on the forefront of this are the practices that are building volume, are gonna take great care of their patients, they're gonna build more patient volume, they're gonna have happier patients, happier outcomes, better outcomes. There's just nothing that you can lose by taking care of these dry eye patients. It's very much like, you know, when a patient goes to their internist, do they feel their blood pressure? The doctor <laughs> tells them your blood pressure is high. When a patient goes to the dentist, do they feel their teeth? No, but the teeth need cleansing. You don't want to overlap, you just basically go, and this is the larger head, so this is the skin um, for the dentist's office, and not brush and floss every night, right? You don't go three months, six months not brushing. Your hot compresses and the proper hot compresses at night for the right duration, and your own digital massage is your brushing and flossing for the eyelids. Um, you know, before and while you're investing in, in some of the new technologies. Next slide. It will cool down and you may not get all the melting effect, so I want 40 to 60 seconds. These uh, findings uh, have caused no pause in our approach. They're the hardest. They're the hardest. No <laughs> question. They just, like, from any number of risk factors, boom, 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 boom. Some of them are modifiable, some are not, but all of it's driving inflammation in this chronic vicious circle. Aqueous begets MGD, begets aqueous, and it's all based on inflammation, right? This is a raucous house party that has to come under control. You gotta call mm -hmm. the cops, you've gotta approach it with proper nutrition, you've got to get out buckets of water to put out the fire, and you gotta clean up the mess, right? So. When that patient comes in and we've done their assessment. No. This is nothing. This oh, is so neck. here's a little flesh pump. They had flesh. Okay. Yeah, personal summer. Yeah. I get, I get those. Mm -hmm. And it's really fun to get that better because then you don't have to use as much concealer with all of the ocular surface on the friendly ingredients in it. Mm. Thank you. Um, okay. Hopefully the dye is some. still in there. Where is that typical? Um, different surgery or? Yeah, bash. Do you see that linear mm -hmm. angular blepharitis there? So she may benefit from some Avanova as well. There might be a, uh, this is the tear distribution instead of coming out here more. I have the privilege of being here with this incredible physician who has the vision of elevating everything that we do for our dry eye patients to the next level, right? So we, 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 have all, we all have these patients. We're all like super confused about what to do, but there's amazing technologies and amazing things that we can do for our patients that we can leverage to create real healing and to create real meaning and real impact in our patients' lives. And so I wanna say thank you 
for having, this takes so much work to create something like this. And I'm like, I'm bowing down to her because I know the workload that's involved here. But honestly, it's out of heart and out of service and out of dedication to our patients, out of commitment to our colleagues, out of absolute service and heart-centered healing. This is why you were put on this earth, and that's what I resonate about you as a soul being. So thank you for everything. You're a sweetheart. <laughs> First, let me give you a hug. I she gives am, really great hugs, by the way. Oh, I am um, honored. I'm humbled by having colleagues like Laura Perryman join me um, in a message that we want to give to our colleagues that the dry eye field is an amazing field in terms of helping pe people's quality of life, quality of vision. And those who are leading the field are doing it with such passion, with such integrity, and with such great, I mean, I don't know the amount of work you put into what you do. It really amazes me. I'm so happy that I had the honor of hosting this amazing lady and our other colleagues, Dr. Bowden and Dr. Darbandi and Patty. And I, we just have a message to give to our field that our patients deserve the best vision and the best vision is simply not possible if the eyes are dry. Well said. I don't have anything to add to that. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.